Now we're going to put a resistor and a capacitor together in series with our photodiode source. So our schematic will look something like this. There's our source. It's connected to a resistor, which is connected to a capacitor. So that has a resistance R, that is capacitance C. And let's say that our voltages, uh, that's V across the source, V sub R across the resistor, and V sub C across the capacitor. And then our currents, I sub R through the resistor, and I sub C through the capacitor. So from Kirchhoff's voltage law, we have that V, the source voltage, is equal to V sub R plus V sub C. And Kirchhoff's current law tells us that the current through the resistor and the capacitor is equal. So we have I sub R is equal to I sub C. And from the previous slide, we know that I sub C is equal to C dVc dt. And now Ohm's law tells us that uh, V sub R is equal to I sub R times R. And we can substitute in for I sub R and we get R C dVc dt. So now let's think about what happens if the source voltage has a high frequency component then it's changing quickly with time which means that the time derivative of V sub C will be large. This makes V sub R large and from this expression if V sub R is large then the voltage across the capacitor, V sub C, must be small. And alternatively, if the source voltage, V, is changing slowly with time, then the time derivative of V sub C with respect to time, or, sorry, the time derivative of V sub C will be small. That makes V sub R small. And then from this expression, V sub C is large. So the bottom line is, if the uh, source voltage here is changing quickly with time, then V sub C is small. And if the source voltage is changing slowly with time, then V sub C is large. From the previous slide, if we were to take the product of the resistance and the capacitance, um, it's called the RC product, that's referred to uh, sometimes as tau or sometimes as the time constant of that circuit. And a good way to see how the time constant causes the circuit to behave is to look at a circuit that contains a switch that is thrown at time t equals zero. So if we go back say we have our photodiode source which has a voltage of V sub zero and it's connected to our RC circuit. And let's say that this switch here is thrown when T is equal to zero. So the voltage V sub C in this case is equal to V sub zero e to the minus T over tau. And this is going to hold for t greater than zero after that switch is shut. So we can look at what this function looks like as a function of time. So let's say this is t and this is v sub c. And if we have a large value for tau or rc, where tau is equal to the RC product. So we may have a curve that looks something like this. So 
So this is a large towel. And if we have a small towel, we get something that looks like this. So basically what we see here is that um, for a smaller value of the time constant or a small value of tau, we have a fast, faster reaction. So small RC time constant means that the circuit can respond more quickly uh, to changes and if it has a large RC time constant then it responds more slowly.